Oh my goodness, Internet. What do we have before us? Well, we have the definitive FZ Essentials bearing collection in front of us. Now, what I was just about to do was I was about to go and put all these in, spin them a little bit, get a feel for them, and kind of form my opinions, uh, which I kind of knew what I wanted to say. I mean, I've spun the FZ bearings uh, quite a bit, uh, but I I found in particular the HCS and the HCZ seem to be like something I'm not as sure about with which ones um, I've kind of put in what places. And I kind of wanted to do a video just to kind of show you the full line of what he's got. Uh, and then um, in doing that, I figured, you know, the way I do things, it was going to take me probably 15, 20 minutes to go through, switch all these bearings out, and then to record a video. So I figured I'd do it, uh, we'll do it live. So we're going to be kind of re-experiencing this with me live. So what do we got on the docket today? So you can see I've got the the various collections of the different bearings and bags and stuff that he's used along the way, some extra bags that I've got for my end and my sake. And you can see I've got quite a few spare <laughs> spare bearings here. So, I mean, I've got probably <laughs> 50, 60 bearings here. But what are we going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about the FZ SS Super or SSSB Stainless Steel Super Bearing. We've got the Notorious uh, SS. Uh, FZ, Flavor Zone Essentials, SBV2, Super Bearing Version 2. So why is this one notorious? Well, let's tell you the little story on this guy. Um, this guy was originally sold as a hybrid uh, ceramic bearing, and you look inside it, and I wasn't 100% convinced when he came out with them, uh, but they look damn near identical. Um, and it just looks like stainless steel balls as opposed to chrome plated, um, I think, hybrid balls, which I think is what he was led to believe. Um, but it, it turned out that these were... Um, uh, these were uh, stainless steel bearings and not hybrid ceramics. So they kind of got notorious for, you know, essentially like false information. And it wasn't anything hectic intentionally. And he was very, he's very open if you don't know or don't follow what he does. Um, he's very open. He's very forthcoming with everything that goes on. Um, so he kind of asked the community what they wanted to do. And we're like, you know, heck, they're still good bearings. Um, so these have kind of been his his definitive bearing. Like this is the bearing that you almost always see. You see this, I don't know why, so much more than the actual original super bearing. Uh, but these are the bearings that are out there. These are the bearings that other makers um, often use when they use um, FZ essential bearings. And he's in like, his balls are in everybody. I mean, everybody's spinners. I mean, in hands. I mean, in, in hands. Um, so anyway, this is the one you're gonna find in a lot of places. And a lot of people love it. A lot of people, it's their favorite bearing. I think it's a great alternative to a one drop. Um, which uh, we won't get into too much, but um, yeah, we won't even get into it. We'll just keep going. Uh, then we've got the also somewhat notorious HC1, Hybrid Ceramic 1. So there were some issues with these where he got these and they had some rust coating on them, which was affecting their spin time. Um, so I think when he originally got them, when he originally got them, they were, yeah, they were labeled because he was like, oh, we can laser engrave them, but they have to do some sort of like rust protection when they laser engrave. I don't know if it has to be lasered in water. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, um, so so he had them. Okay, well, like, I don't want them rust-proofed. I want them to be as fast as they can, so please don't laser engrave them. So they didn't laser engrave them. They still rust-proofed them. So he was kind of like, um, in his words, all right, we're going to cost the internet. Um, in his words, he was done with their fuckery. I love the way Heck talks um, and the way he chats online. So he was done with them. So he moved on to... <gasps> the holy grail of bearings, in my opinion, is the HC2, my favorite bearing. You guys have heard me talk about it. We're going to get to see it in action here a little bit. Um, so it's a hybrid ceramic bearing, um, silicon uh, nitride balls, which are the black balls, and then the full stainless steel uh, cage and stainless steel races. Um, these are like a nylon cage, which it sounds like, uh, I guess while we're talking about it, um, he has the option, you should get on some of the Facebook groups. It looks like they're, he can get um, the nylon done in different colors and may look at getting you know color options so people can have their spinners kind of color. Now again, you can't see it. It doesn't really mean anything, but at the same time, it's kind of cool to know like, oh, look, I got my blue bearings in there because uh, I like blue is probably one of my favorite colors right now just ebbs and flows. Then we've got the HCS. Um, now, up until here, these were designed, you know, these were for smoothness, uh, and then these were for performance. And then we get into the S, and we're talking feedback. So we've got a white nylon cage with the silicon nitride balls, the HCS for silicon nitride, and then you've got the HCZ for zirconium oxide. So, and I've had a little bit of an issue with some, some, they don't, it doesn't affect the spin or anything at all, but on the outside of the race here a little bit, you can see, I, it, I think it's like rust a little bit. Uh, maybe it's not. I feel like I can see some minor discoloration in the edge of the race, so. Um, 
but I don't know. I've had these in a little in a bag for a while, so this one I haven't been using. I think where is it? Is this one in? I guess we really don't need to be doing this, but no, no, that's an S. Um, maybe it's the the Woody Hydra. Anyway, someone's got someone's got one of my original ones in there because I didn't get he didn't have a ton of them early on, so they were kind of out of stock for a while. But it was good to see them back. And actually, I don't know how much of this is still in stock, um, but it seems like he he comes and goes with what he gets and is always offering something. Um, so I just kind of wanted to go through the the rundown. And then we've got the newest, the HC3. Now these look much like the um, silicon nitride ball, balls, black balls, a half stainless steel cage, much like you would see at a high velocity bearing or the stealth super bearing, despite looking like them, it feels very different. Um, this one is designed for tightness and tolerance. So we've got smoothness, performance, feedback, and then tightness and tolerance. So this Invictus right now, um, the main reason I have this, it seems like heck and damn designs are very close. Plus this is also an excellent bar spinner um, and a good one uh, to test. Um, like look at the up and down tolerance here. It is not that high. It's it's going to be hard to tell, but we're just going to be doing that wiggling. But it's very low, and it also really helps dampen. It's still there, uh, but it really helps dampen the bar, judder, and bar wobble. So if you kind of like bars but wish they were a little tighter, um, it gives you a feel. And it's very smooth. It does remind me in a lot of ways of a one-drop bearing, but has you can feel that they're hybrid ceramic balls in there. It's hard to explain. Um, but if you've spun, you know, I've mentioned this, right? If you've spun as many spinners as I have, it looks like a little scarab little hook going on there. Um... Uh, if you spun as many spinners as I have, you can kind of feel that smoothness, um, but also feel the, the hardness of the hybrid ceramic ball. It's hard to explain. Uh, but this is like, if you like your one-drop bearings, if you like your tightness wrong while I'm talking to you, you need some of these bearings if you haven't got any. HC3s. Be on the lookout for them. They're good. Um, so anyway, so let's throw them in the uh, Hydra. Uh, the Hydra is very easy to swap out the bearings with this little C-ring, and I like how this feels, and I know how it feels, so it's a good one for me to use to test bearings. So we're going to start with that in here. This is going to be a long video. We're seven minutes in. We haven't even spun a single bearing yet. Probably not going to be the 40-minute video that my great bearing review was, uh, but it's, it might get up there. So where are my hydro buttons now? Hydro buttons and everything, y'all. We still need to do that video, don't we? But I've been meaning to do this video for a while, and we love, oops, we love Heck. Um, I'm one of his um, bearing testers, so I like to, he likes to send me bearings, so I like to give him feedback. I still buy bearings from him because um, I just can't get enough HC2. So uh, this is the super bearing. Let's spin it and see what we feel about it. Very, very smooth. Um, I think we're gonna have to go like head to head to really be able to tell the difference because this is a known to be smooth bearing. You don't really get much vibration or feedback from the body of the spinner, especially on a, on a tri-spinner. You do get a subtle, subtle bit of feedback. It's not like it's ghost mode. It's not like it's just 100% butter, no margarine. And you can hear the bearing a little bit. But it's still super, super smooth. Now, when he first came out with these bearings, the Super Bearing V1s were the first one he came out with, or the SSSBs. And I remember him coming out and mentioning it, and this is kind of early when I was, you know, planning on doing bearing testing. So I picked up a bunch from him and I was like kind of blown away. I was like, oh, these are some, these are some smooth bearings. They're very interesting. They weren't completely silent and smooth like a one drop. So, it, but they're probably about as smooth and they're just not lubed. Like if a one drop wasn't lubed, it'd probably be very similar. Um, so you still were able to feel the spinner a little bit. So um, I don't like the completely numbing, you know, it's almost like you numb a spinner um, when you put a, uh, a one drop bearing in it. And for some spinners, that just doesn't make sense. Is that it all the way? Uh, so let's throw the SBV2 in there. The Notorious. No, no, Notorious. Why is that not going in? It's funny. Every time I talk about how much I like these and how easy they are, I always run into to issues with the, the C-clamp. But Yeah, I didn't think that was in all the way. It didn't look like it was. Sorry, we are back. Had some technical difficulty there, um, but we're back. So where were we? FC, FCZ, F, uh, SBV2, Super Bearing V2, the Notorious. No, no, Notorious. And then isn't sad, uh, yesterday, at least for me, it was March 9th, the 
the uh, anniversary of Biggie Smalls' death, which is really, really sad. So maybe we can do a little Give Me the Loot in his honor. Give me the loot, give me the loot. That's my favorite Biggie song. My man, if left a tech and a nine at my crib, turned himself in, he had to do a bid. One to three, he'd be home in the 93. I'm ready to get this paper G. You with me? Mother right, my pocket's looking kind of tight, and I'm stressed too, Biggie, let me get the vest. No need for that, just grab get purse pocket that's fat. Take us to his back, with his bond, I'm a smoking you, don't fake no moves. What, treat it like boxing, stick and move, stick and move. Got to explain, I've been robbing the slave ship with the same clip in the same four five two point blank come up short of die that's my word and try to pull God have his mother singing it's so hard yes love loving attitude cause it is the, and grooved up from the pistol whipping whips on the neck from the necklace stripping and I'm dipping up the block and I'm robbing fourth day I'm bound to buy him booze I wouldn't give up yeah give me the baby rings and the number one mom pendant I'm slamming Shaquille she's real when it's time to eat a meal I'm robbing steel cause mom dukes ain't giving me so for the bread and butter I leave in the gutter where the mother I'm dangerous crazier than a bag of Angel dust. When I bust my gat, mother, take dirt naps. I'm all that in a dime sack. Where the paper at? We did have to take that little break. I hope you don't mind me censoring myself. Um. Anyway, so yeah, this is uh, this does feel a little more dampened, a little more smooth. I'm getting a little more ringing and more feedback from this. Not by much, but this is the smoother of the two. And I kind of thought that, but going into this, I've never, I haven't really done a head-to-head -head like this. So this is the smoother of the two, and for that reason, I prefer that. <laughs> that's just how it is with me, right? I prefer a little bit of feedback. I prefer a little bit of ringing. I prefer, prefer a little bit of noise. Um, it's nice if you want, if you want a quieter bearing, this sounds like the one. It feels like the balls are softer, almost like buttery, uh, which is good and what's what a lot of people are after. So there you have it. We're dubbing the smoothness champion, the SBV2, um, but still a very smooth bearing with just the most subtle, 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 subtle of feedback and responsiveness. So, yeah, they're bearing. Okay. So, very smooth bearings. Let's go on to the HC1. Now, the HC1 is interesting because you can't get it anymore. Um, and it's still a very fast bearing. Um, but, you know, like in my, so this is a performance bearing. I think the best spin time I got out of this guy, and I really, I set up that, that, that rig to kind of break in the bearing. The best I got out of this, I think, was 13 minutes in my... Triton V2, spin you because you're good. Um, so I think that was the best that I got in that one. So right away, we're, we've got a faster bearing. We've got more feedback. We've got more noise. Still feels pretty smooth, but you're getting a little bit of vibration in there. So this is actually a great uh, feedback bearing, which I should have mentioned beforehand, but I do appreciate this. I use this sort of like um, as a feedback type bearing as well. I don't have too many of these left. I've got three in there, and I think this is a, not two in there. So um but I throw them around. I forget what bearings are and what unless I open up and look under the hood. But, uh, but yeah, very good. Feels very fast, very responsive, very quick, which is what I really appreciate about this guy. So you throw it, and it just feels like it wants to take off. It doesn't feel like it slows down. You get that feedback. You feel like you've got something spinning fast in your hand, which is what I appreciate. It's why I like preloaded flicks. I like getting these things going as fast as I can, and I like to feel like it's going as fast as it can. So I um, really appreciate that with the HC2. Um, or the HC1, so we're not going to dwell on that one too long, um, but excellent, excellent bearing, because you can't get it, and he's not going to get more of them because, you know, they messed with him, and if you really want something like this um, for performance, then you want the HC2 anyway, but I just wanted to talk about it since I had it, so HC2, if I was, oh, goosebumps internet, <laughs> I should say while I'm putting this bearing in, um, I haven't been able to catch up on a lot. I used to watch like every spinner review that came out and I just even haven't even had the time to really get into that as much. Um, but Ben's uh, Average Singaporeans were videos for some of the ones I really, oh, I really loved. Um, so I haven't been, what's rubbing? It might just be the looseness of the balls in there. Um, it feels like, let me check that C ring. But anyway, so I've been able to watch his videos as much uh, as I've wanted to. I've been able to catch a couple of them. Um, but like, I, I love his style and his reviews. Um, but I also wanted to maybe give a shout out to our man. Uh, I don't even know what he's calling himself these days. Um, only because, well, he changes his name a lot. Um, but uh, Big Papa E, BPE, Spin a Please. Um, he's got a very unique style. Uh, he's quite the character. Um, but, um, yeah, it seems like it's rubbing on the buttons. But again, like, look at the tolerances on here. We'll do the tolerance test maybe on this after. Um, 
but yeah, they just feel so fast. Now, because they are looser bearings, and that's kind of what their their, their speed comes from, um, they just feel looser. But oh man, they feel so fast. They've got a good vibration to my fingers, like right through my fingers right now. I'm getting this excellent little, little vibration. It feels like it's just rocking and rolling. Doesn't want to stop, and it really doesn't. Yeah, that's definitely rubbing there. I don't feel like it used to do that with this, but anyway. Um, so you do want to be careful with these bearings. That is something I should say is they won't work in every spinner because if your tolerances are too tight. And the hydro tolerances are pretty pretty close. And also considering how wide the body is, right? The longer it is, the more you're going to have that up and down. So the, the more space you're going to need for that. So, um, but really, really excellent bearing. Really fast. Now, performance-wise, I've gotten... This is this is uh, one of the bearings that gets some of the best spin times out there. Um, I've got, and personally, I think without any sort of shenanigans and tomfoolery, about 18 minutes in one of these, um, which is pretty good. So let's move on to, so again, definitely the performance fast speed bearing that I love. Let's get on to this for a minute. So HCS and HCZ, I was, I've been under the impression that this has more feedback. But I don't know if that's actually true. I think it might be this one that has more feedback um, because I haven't really done a head-to-head -head with them. I've definitely put one in a spinner and then put one in another spinner and, and you know spun them both quite a bit. Um, but doing them side by side, there was one spinner I was spinning the other day that had this in it. And uh, that's not all the way in for sure. Uh, that had this in it. And I was like, wait a minute, this feels smoother than the Z that I was just spinning. So this is the S. Let's see. You can feel a little bit of rubbing, like in the bearing, which is what you want with a little bit of feedback. You can feel it kind of jamming in there. It's got a nice little ring to it, but it doesn't feel dirty. It's not like a grindy feedback. I think that's the difference that I really want to get across with these two bearings is that they don't, they're not just like grinding, like just a dirty, do I have any dirty bearings sitting around that I know are dirty? What needed to clean? I think this actually needs a clean. Hydro pre-orders are back, y'all. A bunch of people have, you know, like mentioned that they, they wanted them. Now's your chance. Go check it out. Get on the Google Doc. Um, look on their Facebook page. Um, uh, yeah. These are back, so you can get them. But anyway. Yeah, so it's still very smooth. It's hard to describe unless you've had them. But, like, that's why I think people need... And, you know, I mentioned this in my Great Bearing uh, review video. Um... Uh, you need to have some of everything so you know what you like and you know what you like in each spinner. You might think like, oh, I like smooth bearings, but have you tried an SB uh, and then tried an HCZ or an HCS? So that doesn't have as much feedback as I recall. So that's, I keep bumping that camera stand. It's annoying. But what are you going to do, Internet? What are you going to do? <clears throat> You're going to wish you brought a glass of water up here because I've been talking for too long. All right. HCZ, let's get you in there. Put the clamp in. All right. Oh yeah, absolutely a lot more feedback. That is where it's at though. Why did I think this one had more feedback? I don't know why. It's the Z, it's the Z all day that has loads of feedback. What was the, what was the analogy someone said? Like, someone on the Woosaw page was mentioning like, uh, there's 608s versus an R188 and you know, something, one was something and another one was like, one was like standing in a breeze and the other was like jumping out of a plane in the middle of a hurricane or something. This is like riding a pony, which doesn't sound dangerous at all. Except for the ponies 300 feet tall and covered in chainsaws and get to the top of the pony, you've got to ride an, ang an elevator with 12 angry cougars. From a Brando commercial. Yeah, that's, that is where it's at. The Z is more feedback. Now, I don't know if it's just this one or where else was the Z? The Z was in here, right? We had the Z in here. See, that one feels smoother. That one feels smoother than the one that I've got. And this one feels like it's got more feedback. And it's the S. So you know what you do. Like, here's the real deal, Internet. Here's what you really do. You pick up a couple of each. Oh, 
Cocoon is so good too. Maybe we should do, instead of doing like a top 10, maybe we just do like a mini review of what I would consider my permanent collection. Maybe we'll do that at some point. And then why things are in my permanent collection and not really rank them. That might be better to do instead of ranking them for the next video. Oh, uh, not the next, the next video, but instead of like the next top 10. Yeah, these are both Zs and this feels significantly like, like rougher in a good way. That's interesting. Could just be the batch too. And I will say something else with the, um, with the Zs. The, um, of all these bearings and stuff that I've seen with him, I've seen most people have an issue, I think with the Zs, but at least with these two, um, where through cleaning them and stuff like that, they've had issues where these bearings have like broken and coming apart, where like the center race comes out and the balls go flying everywhere and you're just left with this kind of cage. I don't know what that is about them. Um, if there's a certain tolerance to them, the way they're kind of put together. But I will say, and I haven't seen a ton of that, you know, it's not like I want to scare you off from getting these because I haven't had that issue and I'm pretty rough on my bearings and I clean them all the time. Um, uh, but um, but it's, it's worth saying, so just, you know, be careful with them. And, but also get like a thousand of them. Watch, I'm going to break it right now on camera ready. All right. All right, and now we are on to the HC3. On to the HC3, y'all. So the HC3, like look at the tons. Remember with the HC2, how we were like rubbing on the body? Look at that HC3. Look at that space between the body there. Here, I'll put it over that so you can see. Right, like it doesn't hardly move at all. Now, hmm. This one has a little bit of feedback, but this one does not. And the, I might have banged this one up or need this one might need a clean. Because I did test them both when I got them. But I, again, like I said, I'm not super gentle with mine. But like they were super smooth. And not, not the best spin time. I think the most I was able to get, like I really cleaned uh, one of them out. And uh, I think it was probably this one because this is the one I was using more. I, I spun them both and then I put one back in the bag and I just pulled this one out of the bag before this review. Um, so this one I had cleaned out really well. Uh, I think it was getting like five minutes on a tablespoon with this. Got it up to about eight minutes. Um, so decent spin times. I mean, all things considered, that's not terrible. Um, you know, that's probably not far off where these bearings are going, but the tolerances are so tight, like it hardly moves up and down. And feels very smooth. And again, if you kind of don't think you like bars because of all that judder and you like smooth, tight tolerances, pick up some of these. These might bring your bars back to life or make you a bar guy or gal. So, but again, very tight tolerances. So if you don't like that loose feeling, you're not going to like the HC2, but you're going to love the HC3. So, all right, let's go back to... Let's put, I'm going to put the Z in here too. So it's going to be a pair of Z's in my Hydras. It's going to be feedback Z, super feedback Z compared to regular feedback Z. That's interesting. I wonder why that is. Um, and that, you know, like, okay, let's, let's be honest as well. I know with the deals and the quantities that um, Heck is getting these bearings in, there probably is some quality control and there's going to be some variance in the bearings. I've definitely noticed that to a degree, you know. Um, yeah, so good. Uh, I definitely noticed that to a degree, um, where it seems like, you know, some of them will have different spin times, and everything like that, but they're so cheap and they're, um, so good. Like the feel of the bearings is pretty consistent for the most part. <clears throat> um, but again, again, the amount that he's getting, I'm sure there's some, some QC and some tolerance variances. So, um, so yeah, HC three in here, great little tight little bearing. Big up, big up, that's a stick up, stick up, and, um. Shooting with your hiccup. Don't let me throw my clip up in your back end headpiece, the opposite of peace. Send a mom's to grief. You're talking to the robbery expert. Step into your wake with your blood on my shirt. Don't be a jerk and get smoked over being resistant. It's one of the like, shots the shit's persistent. Sorry, I swear there. I, it blew my mind the first time I realized in that song, both of those were a biggie. Um, I just never really noticed or realized like nobody else is featured on that track. And I'm like, wait, that's Biggie on both? Yes, Biggie does both parts. So... This is the, the S, 
a little bit of feedback, you definitely feel that when you switch it back and forth. You can probably hear it a little bit too, like it's like flickering, almost like a propeller. And the tolerance isn't too bad. It definitely feels a little looser. The other thing too with these that I've noticed the HCC, uh, HC3 that makes it feel a little um, tighter in terms of tolerances is it also seems like it wants to move slower back and forth. So not only does it not move as far, it feels like it wants to be slower, like it feels tighter. So even if this was the same amount of wiggle up and down, this feels looser because it doesn't move too much. Um, that's not too bad. All this walking is hurting my feet. Ooh, money looks sweet wearing the Isuzu Jeep. Anyway. Rest in peace. R.I.P. B.I.G. R.I.P. All right, so this is the HC2, which should be all kinds of up and down. Yeah, I don't know if you can see how much more that is. Speaking of spin -up, please, he just sent me a message, sent me a photo. And right now he's going by Bubba. Before that, I, forget, I can't even remember what it was before. Something Doll, and then Eric, I believe is his real name. But see that? So when you switch this left and right, yeah, you really feel that, but it just feels fast. I love it, I can't get over that one. That's the one I like. Let's look at the tolerances up and down and see how it feels with the smooth bearing. So I'm not gonna do one of each. This video's gone on long enough, but I wanted to give my honest opinion of the FC bearings because they're my go-to. He's got something for everybody. He's a good guy. There's a lot of other people out there. Maybe I shouldn't say a lot, but there's a handful of other people out there that make bearings. Uh, most notably, I'm thinking of the um, the folks over at uh, Fidget HQ, Raj and Lisa. They've got some great bearings over there. Um, arguably better spin times, I think, with some of the testing that some of the people over in the spin time Facebook group have been getting with the high velocity. I think they have a high velocity version too. I don't know. I haven't bothered to look and check. I should, but I think they've got a, a, a version. Um, Ultra Spinners, I think, was the one that was providing um, Spinetic with that eight ball in the nylon cage, which I also really liked, if you can find it. So. Feels like it's got, it has a very similar feel in that it's kind of dampened as the, HC, as the HC3, uh, but it definitely feels like it's got a little more up and down play. And it doesn't have, it doesn't feel like they're hybrid ceramic balls. It just feels like a little muted and dampened, um, where I prefer the feel of the harder balls, despite it being smooth, so. Anyway, there you go, Internet. I think we're going to leave it at that. Um, we've talked about hex balls long enough because I had to cut that video, which I don't usually do. I hate doing it when I have to do it because I like that, that stream of consciousness one shot. It's, it's, it's the slimmest, tiniest bit extra work editing because I, I don't really edit. I just kind of go back through, watch the video once, increase the audio so that you don't have to turn your volume up too much, and... Uh, and uh, put the, the titles in there. Um, and that's really it. It's my, my setup's pretty low key. Uh, what do we want to put back in here? I think it's gotta be, I mean, it's HC2, right? Come on, internet. Why did I even think about that? I've got, I've got so many of the HC2s as well. Like, um, these are all HC2s. Um, I've got, these are all, uh, almost all HC2s except for two. These two are not. Um, plus, I've got them. I've got them all over the place in a ton of different spinners. I probably have bought in forty of those stupid things. I shouldn't say bought. I've probably bought in twenty of them. Uh, and he's sent me a bunch. Maybe not even twenty. Maybe ten. I forget. He sends me a bunch of bearings, but I often, uh, you know, when he comes out with new things, I, I do buy bearings from him as well. So despite having all these, um, I do buy bearings from him. So not as many as he sends me. I definitely appreciate it. And, you know, I should actually, you know, why am I not talking directly to Heck? Heck, I love you, bud. Um, you're a good man. You're good people. I'm so glad to see you. Uh, you got up, got up out of the hood, got up out of the Bronx. You know, I grew up in southern Vermont, and I spent about six years living in uh, Spanish Harlem in the city. Um, so it's, you know, not quite as bad as, um, you know, probably what you were living in. Nah, but, um, you know, I spent about six years there and it was nice. It was a nice experience. Um, but it was really definitely time for me to get out. We got a condo up in Westchester here up in Rochester, I believe, which is a little further up. And, you know, now we recently moved back to, to Bennington, Vermont, uh, or Burlington, Vermont. So, um, I feel you. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, much love and kisses to everybody out there and, uh, we'll catch you in the next one.